I'm coming at you bare face and ready to start applying the products from my December makeup month box. I'm gonna first start off with my favorite application for my makeup routine, that is the Skin Prep products. Now all three are from Korea, so all three are Korean products, and I picked all three out for my Octoly store. So I have been using them, testing them out. They uh, were sent to me complimentary for well over a month. First up is Amore Pacific's The Essential Cream Fluid. I'm going to read the most important thing that stood out the most to me. High concentration of vitamin A, which is retinol in that sense. So like I use my uh, Retin-A product at night and this cream, it has that too. But it has over 150 Amore Pacific baby green tea leaves. Enough said. I was like, what? 100, 150? highly, highly antioxidant. The next product is a subsidiary, a child of a more Pacific, and this is from Laneige. Oh yes, I had to try this. This is their water sleeping mask in the lavender version. It just looks like some nice, smooth, uh, creamy pudding. Kind of just expected it to be a very strong lavender smell. And the best way I can describe it is like the lavender scent when you spray the Mario Badescu spray, if you have that one. The minute that comes out, the lavender, the essential smell just boom, hits me in the face. I love lavender. It is very calming for me, to, for my senses. It does calm me down. It makes me feel good. So I'm a fan of that and I do like it for the evening use. But again, this is something that not only is a skincare product that you can use at night, I use my my skin products too during the day. So this is an excellent way to prep your skin. If you ha again have dry skin, very dry skin, the sleeping masks are the way to go because you're just getting just like water thrown into your face, just getting that uh, high concentration of it. Also, if you have oily skin, I would recommend using this at night. That way you're getting the benefits of the extra hydration. You need hydration if you have oily skin, but you know, you're just going to bed. So you're just having that on your skin. You wake up and then you go about your regular routine, not underneath your makeup. I'm back all sleek and straight. Let's pull it back. My last skincare prep product is from the brand IOP. I have talked about this actually in I think the last makeup month box, I was talking about their serum that I'm still using. This is their Super Vital Cream. It's supposed to lift and firm the skin. Why I chose this specific cream is because it reminds me of the uh, IOP contour serum that I'm using for night. So it's very similar in the sense is here I have now the cream version of an all-in-one, but it's an all-in-one one that's going to give me the hydration, but it's going to give me the anti-aging properties that I personally need for uneven skin tones, dark spots, radiance, as well as you know the hydration and so forth. So that's why I was like, I want to try this out as well. Packaging for this jar actually has the spatula on top if you choose to actually use it. So you just press up and it pops up and then you lift off the top and then you can scoop out as much cream as you prefer. It's still a product that you press, well I press between my palms to help warm it up and then press and pat it into my skin. I'm telling you, it's as if a bucket was thrown in your face. So dry skin, very dry skin. I feel that this would be good for you. But also again, here we go with oily skin. You also need that hydration. So it's something I would recommend again for night use because you're going to bed when your skin is renewing itself. But it's not something I'd recommend for combo skin and dry, excuse me, oily skin as far as morning prep use. So that's why. And this didn't have any type of irritation on my skin, no alcohol smell again. It was just that, that drink of water because of the foundation that I'm going to be testing out and reviewing. I don't want anything heavy. First time use, I'm just gonna use the uh, more Pacific. That's all you need. See how it starts to rim. I am going to press and pat this on. This is pretty much how I've been doing it. So see how that just went on and it's not again heavy because I want to uh, put on the foundation. Foundation's on, concealer's on. Now it's time to set it all with Becca's Be A Light Face Palette. I have the shade Medium to Deep Face Palette. Now, I was not checking for this. I was not looking at this palette at all, at all. The sole purpose of this palette even being in my life is because of my friend Bridget. Her channel is Keeping It Simple with Bridget. 
this palette, this palette I feel deserves a moment of silence. This palette is so versatile. I can't be without it. Like I have to take it with me. If I'm, if I know I'm not going to be at the house, this is coming with me. Two versatile powders. You have one to brighten. So you can brighten under your eyes. You can almost use it as that soft type of a highlight effect. I've done that before. Then you have the blur powder as well. But the blur powder you can use all over your face. The sky's the limit. This pan is marketed as a contour product. I actually use it as a soft contour bronzer and it does show up on my skin. And then this is the blush. Oh, you'll see because I'm going to be using it. With this face palette, I use the brush that is also part of the Makeup Month box is this little baby right here from Japanese. Now Japanese is leaving Ulta. The cosmetics is already gone. The brushes are discounted. I actually got a foundation brush today at Ulta buy them buy them all their brushes are fantastic this is like that precise type brush that's why it's titled precise to get into whatever small region you need it to i just go on the sides here with the brush you know a couple taps there and i'm going to use the mirror which i never really do and lightly set this underneath my eyes. I'm going to use my damp sponge. I have used that with the powders. It doesn't mess up the powders. It still will work again. I dab in here and I just press right into that pore area and I hope that it's showing on the screen here but it's just setting this area and really you know, reducing that uh, that area that has the pores. I just went across the pan. That would be the downside of this palette. I like to press and pat it in and then go ahead and blend it out. See how it just gives that slight, that subtle definition. Much reminds me of Hourglass. So I'm just using it multiple ways contour as well as um, a bronzer. The matte blush I'm going to use that I picked up in December is from Juvia's Place. So now that Juvia's Place is at Ulta, I'm now starting to try out their products because it's really easy if I don't like it. It doesn't work out. You know, they have a really good return policy. So it just has the print side here. This is in, well, it says Bella on the front. So I'm not sure if that's just what it means as far as a blush. Perhaps that's actually the color name. So I'm going to go with the fact that it's a color name. And then it has the mirror. And then look at that blush. That is so me. This looks like a darker version of the cherub color that I like. I call it a cherub. Just like in a Renaissance painting, you got those flushed pink rosy uh, cheeks. I almost said lips. That's exactly the color that I love. And it's very flattering on my skin tone. So I'm going to take my blush brush. Kind of wipe that off and what I've noticed with this blush is it is quite pigmented I put this in the first time I was like is this NARS um, I think it's called x-rated this looks a little uh, a little strong just like I like it and go ahead and just apply that to my cheeks but what I like is like on the brush it's it looks like it's gonna be bang boom you know punch but on the skin it just kind of shears out it's very flattering and that's just one application right there so you can go as heavy as you want for the back of blush I'm gonna go in with the it cosmetics blurring brush this is a foundation brush with the way that it's tapered and how it's cut it fits right into the pan so I've been liking it for that reason I just like to tap it up but more towards the higher point of the cheek instead of going a little bit further as well as on the apples of the cheek just kind of blend that in that's it as you can tell already I love it so very happy I picked that one up I have two highlighters to share with you so I'm gonna put one on each side so we can just see the difference there so first up is from Anastasia Beverly Hills Sam Raisi highlighter the infamous one I don't know why I didn't pick it up the first round I don't have a reason 
but I picked it up the second round. And then on this side here, let's go ahead and put on the Dose of Colors. This is the Desi Katie collaboration with the brand. Now I picked up the one that's Chasing the Sun. There's two of them. So there's Fuego, if I pronounced that right. That one has more of a light gold look. So I thought Chasing the Sun would be the best for my skin tone because it has more of that bronze gold effect. This will start to blend in with the actual glow from the blush but uh, you did see the swatches as far as what it looks like on its own. Now, since I have this highlighter, you may wonder, what am I gonna use for my eyes? Have you guessed? Amrezy, Dose of Colors. Isn't it amazing that when you put on the actual highlighter, it just kind of looks the same? Did you guess what eyeshadow palette I'm gonna use? But it's two. First is from Dose of Colors, of course. It's the Desi and Katie collaboration. Uh, Friendication palette. I like the outside, I like the texture. I'm a tactile person. So I do like that. It's just so easy to use. I am a person that builds up whatever I'm putting up in my crease and that includes if it's shimmer. So I do like how we have an even distribution of mattes in the shades that correlate with one another that I can build up in that way. Then I have my brow bone shade here because I don't want that shimmer bright like a uh, cream or a white shade there. So I have that to satisfy me. And then really you just have these shimmers here or almost like um like a pressed pigment sort of a feel to it where you can just go and play with color you can also apply it for your lower lash line as well i have a companion palette that goes with it that i just love using it as far as i'm concerned these two work together so i also picked up the uh, i love sari e palette also from Dose of Colors. This is a perfect little pocket size that I like. You have the mirror inside if that's what you fancy. And then we do have the two mattes. And then again, you just have those pops of color. This color here, screams me. This peach shade right here complements the matte tones that are in this palette. That's why I think it's just a perfect companion. No, you don't have to do it together, but that's immediately what I like to do. Pair them together, use them together. It just creates a very nice, beautiful eye. This one is my brow bone shade. And then for the lid, I just put this on right here, this shade. And then I deepened it on the outer edge and then just put a little bit of the reddish shade that's in here from the um, I Love Sarah E right in the crease. So it just kind of goes in like there just to add, oops, just to add some depth. And that's it. I put black liner in the waterline, my CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara and that's it. And then for the inner corner, I just use my shape shifting green shade that I love because it has green and yellow and like that purple shade inside to like a bluish purple. So you can do a natural eye, you can do a dramatic eye with this palette or the uh, the other one that I love, Sarah E. And I just like how versatile it is. So I really do um, enjoy both of those. Now it's time for the lips and the lipstick part of the same collection, the Desi Katie collection. This lipstick is backup worthy. This color is just, it's so beautiful. This has a slight vanilla scent. It has just, it's just, I'm just crazy about it. I'm not gonna wear lashes, but I do have a pair of lashes to show you. Now I've worn this pair in quite a few of the recent videos. So just go back, go back a few videos, recent videos, look at the makeup worn section and you'll see these lashes. I want a truck size of just these lashes to show up at my door. They are that good. This style of DW Lily has the hairs that go up in this very like controlled curly manner. I really like that. Because I already have curly lashes to begin with, the way they blend in with my natural curl once you mesh them, it gives this glamorous look without it being where you would look at the eye and be I see your lashes first and then I see you. I get the compliments of your natural lashless look beautiful. I'm just wearing these. I probably got a good seven, eight, 
times out of here so that's good enough for me and I did check the website and the prices are reasonable my last item is a setting spray this is from ColourPop it's their all-star face setting spray the mist that comes out of here is quite strong I mean it's a cloud but I think because the the nozzle doesn't go like springs back up sometimes you run the risk of the water kind of like you know dropping sometimes that has happened to me but just to let you know also if you're somebody that after you spray your face if you don't fan it off is something I recommend you do then you probably won't like this because again it's not a controlled like a continuous mist type like Morphe's it's not like this there is kind of a method to the method to the madness is the madness worth it that's going to be something for you to decide I tend to go arm's length so just completely have my arm all the way extended and then spray spray it and then I fan it off now I haven't seen any type of white residue on my face at all because it's like a blur uh, type of a spray so it has I believe some substance in the ingredients that is going to, depending on your skin tone, you're going to see like a white, like droplet sort of, not stark white, but you're going to see it. Now I made the mistake on the day that I filmed the Fenty review, so the prior video, I had my arm right here at my boob, so I didn't even extend it and I, I sprayed it, fanned it, and went about filming that video. So in that video, underneath my eye, well, go back. After I did that, I turned my magnifying mirror and I saw the white, the droplets. And I was like, oh no, 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 I gotta get that off. And in the Fenty video, there's like three little dots kind of right here. That's this, <laughs> that just dried down. So this is something that you definitely need to make sure you extend your hand, or excuse me, your arm, spray, fan, and you're good to go. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. If you're interested in anything, what is kind of you know capturing your eye, let me know. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching. I do hope you have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thank you for stopping by, goodbye.